All right, what's going on everyone? Welcome to another septic repair. So this is actually our second day on the job, but yesterday was mainly running around and uh, trying to locate this water service. So we're over here, end of a neighborhood. This is actually um, some relatives of ours house that they're selling and moving. So there's a curb stop here we located yesterday, chased it down just to make sure the water line was going to be at least 10 feet outside of the leaching fields and we confirmed that it is. So today, we're gonna get started on the septic itself. As you can see, an old 225 sitting here, almost done greasing her. Uh, we've taken two loads of material out of here so far just because we know uh, about four or five that have come out total. The deep tank, the um, invert, or I guess the outlet pipe coming out of the foundation is about six feet down. So the tank's real deep, everything's real deep. D-Box is gonna have two or three risers. Uh, flow diffuser system, so coming out of the house, we're gonna tie into the existing pipe, put the tank in right in this circle, or circle, sorry, rectangle. Um, and then D-Box in there somewhere. Four flow diffusers in the fields on some double wash stone. And that's it. So, a couple days here. Um, we'll keep you updated. Should be pretty similar to that very first one uh, with the four, four flow diffuser system. All right. Welcome back. Day number two of the septic build. We've got the field completely cleaned out down to the bottom of the stone and now we're going to bring it up with about a foot of double washed inch and a half stone um, tanks all set one riser is done got one more riser to put on that side and uh, i'm just waiting for the truck to come back with some stone we'll set the d-box which is right here right about there and then start smoothing the field off to the stone grade and then so this is an h20 <coughs> d-box it's so deep we got two h20 risers and then four flow diffusers here which are also h20 rated just not under a driveway driveway or anything but the system is super deep so that's what they require i'll give you guys an update uh this afternoon after we get these uh flow diffusers um set in place all the flow diffusers in d box is in risers done flow diffusers are piped up inspection ports in all that's left is the vent at the far end cover it all with p-stone and spread some caution tape and a little hydraulic cement in a few areas here and there but um yeah she's good so we killed that one knocked it out i'll uh show you guys in the morning once it's not so loud get a better idea of what's going on here but for now I'm just gonna top off the machine head on home good morning what's going on everyone back here at the septic job uh, day number three pretty much finished just gonna put some pea stone in and spread caution tape but I uh, built the vent like I said at the end of yesterday I had to do today and I just finished hydraulic cementing um, a bunch of my connections coming in and out of the tank and then uh, the D-Box risers just to kind of solidify them and make sure no water can seep into there after it's filled up so Give you a look at what we got going So that's the pipe that we tied into coming out of the house and then the tank we put in with our finished risers coming out of the tank to an H20 D-Box two risers on it an H20 cover um, And then it comes out of the D-Box right there goes into the first flow diffuser and then we got another one coming out of the D-Box the other side and that goes into the third flow diffuser and then here we have our inspection port perforated pipe all the way to the base of the stone so that way in the future you can just unscrew this plug take a look down in there and see what's going on 
actually I have to wrap this sucker in fabric so that way no dirt falls in so I might have to run and grab some and then here is a vent that I built this morning comes out of the end 90 goes straight up to a charcoal canister so this is the entirety of the system with the exception of some pea stone I think the plan calls for three inches over the top of this whole thing and then she will be complete You'll probably catch back up with me after I have bailed that pile of material over there into the hole after the inspector and the engineers do all their thing that's a completed septic system um h20 everything because it's so deep flow diffusers i believe they're four feet by eight feet and there's four of them and then that is a single compartment uh 1500 gallon h20 tank it's about all there is to it that's a septic system i like these flow diffusers because they go together pretty quickly it makes the field not a super tedious task and you can focus more on setting the d box exactly where it's supposed to be and piping everything together extremely perfectly and uh yeah the flow diffusers just go in nice and smoothly so that's it for now thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next update good morning everyone welcome back it's uh a beautiful Friday and we are gonna clean up the septic all nice and pretty so yesterday I had a little mishap and the shifter on my truck broke so I had to spend a couple hours in the middle of the day fixing that so I'd only got back here for about an hour and a half and I was hustling I didn't take any footage so I'll show you what I got done yesterday there's the machine and I moved that much of that pile into the hole so I'm gonna start by situating myself in the middle of the field and try and bail as much of that fill as I can reach in this area and then I'll crawl over there and bail more in and keep doing that until all of that fill is about the same grade <clears throat> and then my father will be bringing some loom here in the dump truck we'll spread that out rake it all and we'll be good to go. It's like we were never here. <laughs> 